Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and... Pahamar! Pahamar! Aww. Welcome to episode 4, Pahamar! You know what, I'm definitely not feeling this episode. What's that? Thirsty. Yeah. Did you notice that we have, like, awesome amounts of stuff? And stuff being water? And cobblestone. I almost hit you again with my ham with my pan because you snuck up on me. Don't sneak up on Direwolf. I'll sneak up on Yeah, no, we do have awesome amounts of cobblestone, dude. Look at this. Hello. <laughs> Hello, 64 stacks of cobblestone. I think we need to start building. That that is pretty much what's up right there. Also, lots of water, apparently, because I just filled up, like, five water bottles, and all the oak barrels refilled themselves quite a bit. You know what I'm thinking I should do, by the way, Mr. Pahimar? Crazy things. Well, I was thinking about using um, some dust plus some of these oak barrels to make more clay and make another crucible so that I can make the water production even, you know, that much faster, so that, like, right now we have a ton because we've logged off, and I guess, I guess we're at spawn, so chunks are automatically loaded, right? Yep. Um, but, you know, if we're hanging out for a little bit, like, the water production is pretty good, but, I mean, we could always have more, right? So I'm debating if I want to automate that bit of it and get more clay right now, or if I should work on power so that we can have, um, you know, another sink shell if we ever run into trouble i'm thinking i'm thinking power is probably the route i want to take right you now you work it? on power i feel like we need food okay uh yeah we need food if you want to work on food i would be okay with you working on food but i'm also just remember that we need, we need variety variety is the spice of life which is the name of the mod that makes you need to eat variety otherwise you have problems Just in, just in case you didn't know that. I now know this. Yeah, then the name of the mod is Spice of Life, and it makes it so that, like, if you mouse over any food item right now, it says diminishing returns start after eating any food X number of times. For me, it's 13. For you, it's probably a different number. Is that correct? That's correct. Right, so what that means is... Um, hmm... By the way, if you stand near a torch, your heat level goes up. I thought you should probably know that. Sounds good to know. Yeah. If you look at your heat bar, see those two little black dots? Is that where you're trending, trending towards? Like, the white dot, I believe, is you right now, and the black dot is the external temperature. So, like, if you go stand on top of this torch, you'll see the black dots jump up. All right, so I'm going to be Ooh, making we're a to generator. We're getting, we're getting to night. Oh, are we? Okay. Um, well, you you handle being outside and whatever you're doing, and I'm going to handle being still inside. Have torches, and right? I have 13 torches if you would like them. I would like you to light up this new expanded courtyard I've done. All right, that I can do. Um, I'm going to be making some extra utilities generators. Okay, that should give us that, a little bit more room. According to F7, that is plenty of light. Um, but the trench is still dark. I'm wondering if we should fill in the trench now. I defer to you. I don't mind getting the mob drops, but if you want to, that's fine with me. Uh, generators, by the way. Uh, looks like every generator, lava is disabled, and every other generator requires some very expensive items, except for one generator, which is what I'm going to go ahead and assume is what he wants us to start with. Um, by the way, the expensive items being a printed circuit board and plastic, and we don't have any rubber trees yet, so there's no way to make any of these generators. Like, we can't even get started. Um, but the most basic generator from Extra Utilities is the survivalist generator, and it mostly just needs cobblestone and um, cobblestone and redstone and iron. Do you have the hammer still? I do. Would you like it? I would. Enjoy. So I'm going to make two survivalist generators. Just be careful of spiders. I hear them out there by. 
you okay? Ow. Oh crap, I'm poisoned. Come inside. Moving slowly. Close the door behind me. Wow, that, yeah, you have half a heart, dude. I guess it's set so that poison doesn't kill you, so that's that's a good thing. Um, so, I have survivalist generators. And I'm the like slowest the miner in the world. Yeah. Um, why don't we sleep um, don't through we... the night? Uh, gladly, but there's monsters nearby. So that poses a problem. Uh, I'm looking for at the moment. Did you grab a bunch of wood? Nope. Did I put it all in here? I put it all in here. All right. I'm gonna cook up some charcoal if that's cool with you. That's cool. I'm making some glass. Well, I'm trying okay. to get sand so I can make glass because then we can avoid these spider drops. Right. Yeah. Right. Because because spiders can't climb up on glass, right? But if we put a cover over our courtyards, uh, see what I'm saying? Yep. So do you know the deal with survivalist generators from Extra Utilities? No. They are incredibly efficient, but incredibly slow. Hey, I'm okay like with that, one, because we have time one, to kill. One piece of charcoal lasts 27 minutes in the generator, but it produces 5 RF per tick. Which is a very tiny amount of RF, but I think like overall it winds up producing something like 160,000 RF, which is a pretty large amount. It's just like ridiculously slow. But once we get a little bit more iron, I might toss like two generators on each cell. And I don't think this is the version that has the energy. I don't think this has the energy. What should I call it? Pipes. Loss. Oh. The energy transfer pipe. So let's see. Um, yeah, they just have energy pipes. They don't have the energy, like, pulling energy pipes. So I could go with leadstone energy conduits because they can transfer 80 RF per tick, and that's just redstone, lead, and glass. So once we have a little bit of glass, I could probably, instead of having these things here, I mean, we'll come up with something a little bit better. But for now, are you doing better? Are you healed up? Yeah, you're okay. Do you need more food? I have some more toast. No, I got a decent amount of toast. I'm trying to okay. save my toast. All right, good plan. So I'm gonna pop like a couple pieces of coal. Well, yeah, I guess I guess this this should more than cover the amount of RF we're gonna need. And the only problem is it's gonna take a while to charge up the energy cells. But well, we short have is those. Charging. Um... Uh, we have those uh, storage items. Why can't I remember the name? Uh, flux capacitors. Yes. Um, one thing I wouldn't mind grabbing. I want to see... Where's materials in you? It's probably this one. I want to see bone compared to flint. So the durability of flint is 171, and the mining speed is 4. Bone is 200 and the mining speed is 4. So bone is better than flint. Um, trying to decide what I want to make some tools out of. Netherrack is not so hot. Probably don't have any anyway. So bone is better than flint. I'm going to go with bone. So I want to make, I'm going to make a bone excavator. Uh, no, I probably can't make that. Ow. I don't know. Not sure if I can make that or not. I'd have to test. Yeah, we're like surprisingly good on water at the moment, buddy. Is it still scary death outside? Yeah. You know what we should do is light up around where our beds are so that we can sleep. Uh, they come to us for sound, I think. Like, they know where we are. Oh, that's not good. I think good. the better thing to do would actually be to dig down and, like, you know, make a little underground base. We could do that. Like, you want to dig, like, straight down and work towards, uh, like, a ladder system? Yeah, because then we could just go downstairs and sleep. 
True. Is it dangerous out there, you think? Uh, I would say so. You know, unknown okay. spider blocks, uh, spider drops. Well, I'm gonna put the little bit of dust I grabbed into the sieve. Uh, do you have any more dust? You were you didn't cut down any dust, did you? It, well, one does not cut down dust. You know what I mean. All right. Well, I'm gonna let this thing run. I'm gonna think about how easily I can automate this because we don't have ender pearls or obsidian yet, so vacuum hopper is a little bit out of the question. But I'll see what I can come up with. Um, do you want to come back in a minute after it's daylight? Sure, we can do that. Okay. See you guys in a minute. You are back. Yeah. I wish I had Did some you miss warning. me? I wish I had some warning. Well, there was also a spider eating my face. That doesn't sound like a good time. No, in terms of fun time, spiders eating face is not. No. Uh, I want to make... Let's see. What do I need to make this stuff? I want an axe and a shovel. So, luckily, those are both two very easy things to make with tinkers. I figured you'd want an axe for all the tree chopping and such, right? Yep. I need a lot of glass. So, I definitely want to collect more dust. So, I've got a hatchet here for you. I've got a bone rod and a bone shovel for me. That's pretty good. So, do you want this hatchet thing? Sure. There sure. you go. Here, I have some bone meal, too. Um, so I can go get some dust. Did you want to look in the book, or did you want to work on any more infrastructure while we're doing stuff? Uh, actually, looking at the quest, probably a good thing to do. All right, so let's see what we've got on the quest line real quick. Uh, so it looks to me like one of the quests that we can start working on is this night thing. Oh, we've killed all the spiders and creepers we need to kill. Uh, but we need to kill some skeletons and zombies, and then we'll be in good shape for that quest. So that actually doesn't look too hard. Cooking utensils, I might be able to pull off real quick right now. Uh, and then we can take a look at some of that, whatever that food quest is about. Metal dust. Um, I'm already working on that. That looks I'm easy. Oh, you're working on metal dust? Nice. Ooh, and that'll get us a hardened energy cell, a leadstone thruster, or an ME chest. All of those things sound pretty cool. I assume the lead thrown, so yeah, that'll get us a jetpack pretty soon, actually. But we'll need leather before we can get a jetpack. Those lead stone thrusters are very pricey, by the way. Would it amaze Would you it to amaze? know that we've already got uh, at least one piece of leather? Really? From what? Oddly enough, a creeper dropped it. Oh, okay, that's different. Yeah, because yeah, um, maybe creepers, I should I start working on um, a farm too for this uh, rice yeah. that we have. Yeah. Do you want me to start doing that? Sure. All right, how are we for leaves? Do we have the shears? If you have shears, I'll collect leaves and start getting dirt. If not, we have two pieces of iron I can make. Whatever. Sorry, I'm concentrating. OK, so did you have shears or no? Uh, I do not. Well, I do now. So the plan, guys, leaves equal dirt equal farm. I'm thinking about putting the farm in that new area that you cleared out. I was thinking about do it in here because there's going to be a glass roof here is my idea. Oh? See okay, the, the starting of it? Starting well, that way we can do a farm in here because then we can do trees up there. Also, we could use this area to start digging down. Good job. That wasn't me. Sure, well then. Did you notice that Wayla has a composting progress bar now? I had noticed that, actually. Isn't that cool? It is pretty dark. These are the kind of things that get me excited, Bob Mar. We're so boring. <laughs> One of us is. Do you have <laughs> a shovel? Probably me. Do you have a shovel? 
Uh, I do. Would you like it? Well, someone should be farming up dust. What? Yes, if you want to gather dust, sure. Here you go. We have, like, no defined responsibilities. It's right behind you. My responsibility is to start working on food. I don't know what your responsibilities are, but... I'm gonna hold off on eating right now. How's this dirt done? Yes, done, done. Done, awesome. I have something of an idea. Oh, goodness. Do I have any more item ducks? Or did I use them all? We get seeds from sifting dirt, don't we? I didn't make any item ducks. Ah, uh, we get seeds from sifting dirt. I believe you are correct about that. That is another good thing we want to do, because if you want to farm, we want more than just rice. Yes, because we have that mod that makes it so that you have to eat different things, and it's like going to be very soon before that starts seeing effect. Like, literally, we'll be at the point where if you eat the same food over and over, it will not do anything for you. So we should probably prioritize getting different types of food. Like, we have a couple different seeds. We have, so far, um, we've got tea, cantaloupe, and coffee. And I rice. don't think tea or coffee are going to give us anything food-wise. Uh, you can get seed soup from tea seeds. So you know what my goal um, is ultimately at the end of this episode? Yeah? I don't want to have to restart this series again. Yeah, no, that would be bad. We do not want that. So you want the farm inside the uh, smaller area? I think so for now. Okay. I mean, it doesn't have to be so, big because we can just bone meal. I know, but I, I kind of wanted to do something cool. And I would like oh, a 3 by 3 no. So I'm going to do this. You're doing something cool, and I'm just farming up dusts. Being all boring. Hey, it's important. Everything we're doing right now is important. Let's see. How does, like, four or five stacks sound? Uh, sure. That four or five stacks sounds like plenty to me, buddy. I'm going to make a mattock so that we can till the earth. All right, so we have completed metal dust. Oh, nice. Let me plant these seeds, and then I will be celebrating with you in a moment. Okay. Uh, metal dust. Uh, let's see. So what do we get for that? Oh, it opened up a lot of stuff. Um, which rewards do we want to pick? That's a really tough question. I think one of us should absolutely get that leadstone thruster. I don't feel like an Emmy chest would be all that useful. Unless he really nerfed the disk drive. Um, you have a look at that. Emmy drive recipe is the same as always. So I kind of feel like Emmy chests aren't necessary. So we should either both get the leadstone thruster or one thruster, one cell. I don't think we need four thrusters. Well, it's two thrusters per jetpack. So if we both want our own jetpack. But if we want one jetpack, that's also an option. So I mean. Let's um, 
How much does it take to make one of these things? A lot. Look it up. And then faint. Okay. Thrusters it is. <laughs> Do you, I, I'm, I'm thinking we might want the... Whatchamacallit though? You have an iron bucket, right? Do I have an iron bucket? Probably... Yes. Can I have it? There you are. And this is actually like a really tough one for me. I'm I'm gonna pick hardened energy cell. You pick the leadstone thrusters. Yep. And yep. Uh, okay. I've also done melting leaves. Oh, nice. So we both got a bucket now, I think. So you did melting leaves. Oh, cool. And that gets us an oak sapling and a water bottle. Boring, but okay. Um, what was required for melting leaves? Didn't we already do that? Oh, just a bucket of water. Oh, okay, that was easy. Yeah, we just um, needed to hand it in. You want to see my new gadget that's cool and fun? What's your new gadget that's cool and fun? Dun 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 dun! I don't see anything. You don't see anything in my hand? Oh, a water can. Nice. Yeah. This should work. Oh. Not sure if working, but feel like it probably is. Unfortunately, the sprinkler recipe is disabled. Uh, it's nighttime again, by the way. Yep. Did you? Yep. Are we surrounded with glass? If you log out, it'll switch tonight. Uh, today. Okay. There we go. All right, I can only assume that this is working because it does seem to be growing things faster. Um, I just got some rice and a cantaloupe. Sweet. So I'm going to actually use this cantaloupe seed to plant another cantaloupe. This should work out pretty well for us then. I wouldn't mind expanding this farm at some point so that the watering can can do a better job, but for now at least it's pretty good. Tea leaf? Awesome. All right, dude, I've got a pretty decent little farm going over here, at least for all the food we've got so far. Um, you said if we sift dirt, we might get seeds? If it's anything like agrarian skies, yeah. Yeah, probably true. Uh, I need a little bit more leaves. I wouldn't mind at some point moving the chest inside that has the leaves that's making our water so we can periodically check it without going out to a dangerous spot. Uh, I've moved some dust, uh, sorry, the dust to the chest right by the sifter. Okay. Just a nice easy spot to put things. Yeah, sure. Whatever you want. That is what I want. You are the pocky boss. What I really, really want. Don't say that ever. Why not? There's a spitting creeper out here, and I don't know what it is, but I'm afraid of it. Generally, things with the name spitting in it aren't good. Yeah, like that's that's a little terrifying. I'm getting low on this toast again, by the way. We should really start looking at food pretty heavily. Yeah, we need more we need more leaves for water purposes too. Okay. Um. I'm going to sift dirt. 
sounds like a blast. It should be. And I'm out here doing dust because I feel like we also need uh, clay. Um, yes, if you need clay, that shouldn't be a problem. Where did you put the chest? Oh, well, there it is, I see. Uh, those are creeper plant seeds. I got excited for a minute thinking we got some kind of seeds. And those are not good seeds. You told me they were. Oh, they are, but not like food. You know, because we want to grow creepers. Oh. I just got uh, grass seeds and grape seeds. Uh, grass seeds will give us wheat. Will they? Oh yeah, because we can turn dirt into grass and then we can bone meal to tall grass. Oh nice, Iguana Tools is on this. I also uh, got, I got a Iguana spruce tweaks. seed. Yeah. I just leveled up my bone shovel. Nice. Alright, so let's see how my dirt's doing outside. You've got the axe, right? Yep, you want it? Um, either that or chop down the trees for me, whatever. Okay. Man, those uh, those shears do not last long, do they? Uh, not when you're going to town with them. Yeah, I was going to town with them. We might be out of iron. Okay, got more dirt going, and I'm thinking, do we want to set up a little grass farm in our new area? Let's see. How really, it's hot out here, dude. All right, I've got a grass block. Nice. I think I'm going to plant the grape. Um, and I think that's really all the seeds we have that are new so far. I look forward to automating this. <laughs> you don't know how much it burns not being automated. <laughs> it burns the dire wolf. It does, eh? Yeah. Certainly not a good thing, that's for sure. Zombie jerky, beef jerky, huh? Oh, we need tofu or raw beef for beef jerky. Hmm. Why is there no recipe for groat showing up in any eye? Oh, it opened up the, uh, the exploding iron quest is uh, available to us now. Under pressure. Let's see, the end of the beginning. The next step, uh, we need plastic sheets and printed circuit boards, which we're not going to get anytime soon, so there must be another quest that does this. Moving things around, item duct and leadstone energy conduits. If we make those, we can get a tank, an iron chest, and a leadstone flux capacitor. That tank oh, might actually no. be very nice. No. What? What do I know? So I was looking into how I could make um, groat. 
Okay. Okay. Unfortunately, the clay you can make from dust is unsuitable for making the grit you need for smeltery bricks. It looks like you will need to go scavenging on those city ruins that we saw on the way down to this planet. What? Yeah. That sounds terrible. Yes, it does. I don't want to do that, though. Apparently they don't care. They should. Um, if you have one piece of glass, I might be able to complete a quest right now. I don't have that, but I can get you some quickly. Yeah, all I need is one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the watering can is working, so that's at least good news. There's your glass. glass. Thank you. And that moving things around quest is completed. That's actually a pretty nice reward. We got an iron chest. Which I'm going to place right there. And uh, I'm going to grab this fluid duct and I'm going to hook it up so that the water also now flows into this um, tank. And we could probably at some point get rid of, um, you know, maybe I don't even need to do that. Yeah, why don't I do this? That'll do. Oh, ho, ho, that's nice. Look at all that water, Pahamar. Where at? Oh, nice. Yeah. If you want to claim your reward, you can put your portable tank there, too. Just put it next to it. It'll fill up. And more energy. Nice. Yeah. Uh, energy is more than welcome. We are getting towards nighttime again. I'm noticing that. Um, do you want to come back when it's daytime? Sounds like a plan. All right, see you then. All right, Podmar, I have a little bit of heat stroke because a little zombie just ran through uh, some lava and set me on fire when he ran up to me. Stupid baby zombies. They don't know any better. No, they know better. They know way better. Don't, don't, don't make excuses for the baby zombies. Um, I think we made good progress this episode, dude. We have a lot of quests completed. Uh, I think the next mm -hmm. thing we should work towards is the ore multiplication, uh, for which, according to this, we're going to need lots of iron. Um, so That's we're definitely going to need to seared city bricks. Ruins. Yeah, unfortunately, the decay you can make from this is unsuitable for making the grout you need for the smelter bricks. It looks like you'll need to go scavenging on those city ruins that we saw on the way down to the planet. Yeah, that sounds terrible. So here's that road I saw. Yeah. I wonder if this leads down to the city ruins. Didn't we get some? We got some seared bricks. We have a few of them, but definitely not enough to uh, to do what we need to do. I wonder if this is a bad idea. So we need to make a controller, a tank, brick, a faucet, and a drain. I'm wondering if we have. We might have part of this already, dude. I'm trying to find um, some drains. That road that you're going down, that might be a dangerous road to travel. You think? 
Yeah, I. You have, you have enough food and water, right? That's the key. I have zombie flesh. Oh, zombie I see a flesh. city. Do you? I do. Okay, we know what we're doing next episode. Oh, that's. Are cool. we going to that city? Wow, look at it all. Let me do a little bit of math. Seared tank needs eight. Uh, I don't know if I should do like... this. Oh, that was a bad idea. I just gave myself hunger. Oh, crap. Why? I tried to warn you. Pahamar doesn't listen to Dyer once again. We have power now, so if you die, it's not the end of the world. Except I have all my stuff. Come rescue me. Where are you? Uh, plus 300, plus 115. I'm really not doing good. No. Plus 300 minus 115? Plus 90. Oh my goodness, that's far. I'm about 300 blocks away from you. Oh my goodness. If I die coming out here, you're in trouble. Just make sure you got food. I've got a little bit of food. I don't have a ton of food. I don't know if this is going to be like Agrarian Skies, where if you run out of food, you just die instantly. I hope not. I think I'd see you. Dire. I'm coming, Pahamar. Ugh. What? What? Oh, level I'm taking. At? I'm at close to zero. Wow. Hunger? Two and a half heart each. Two and a half heart each. What? Damage. Okay, I'm I got. I got one ham hock. There. Take it. Eat it. I got hunger. Oh. Sixteen seconds. You still seconds. have hunger? And there I go. Oh, Potomar. Dun dun da dun. Oh well, I found the city. Yes, you did. I think next episode we'll come back and explore that city, though. Probably I a good idea. Get your stuff because I don't have inventory space to do that. I can't believe I made it there and you couldn't eat because you had the hunger debuff. Look, I didn't make the rules. <laughs> That's funny. All right, guys. So hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll be back next time um, where we will have all kinds of fun doing crazy things, I'm sure. We might explore that city, but I'm a little nervous about that. But apparently that's what we have to do next. So we better make sure we have some good armor, Bahamar, because I doubt that that is a city that is empty. Yeah, I get the feeling like, that we're, we're going to have some friends. Like, we should absolutely make sure that it's literally... Here's what we should do. Here's our plan. You ready? Make sure it's like bright and early morning, number one. Number two, make sure um, that we have we food, bring beds and with armor, us. and weapons. Food, armor, weapons, beds. I don't want to be caught in that city at night. Oh, this doesn't even show my death marker. All right, guys, we got to wrap up the episode. So for now, Daryl20 and Pahamar signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. I'm going to water some plants off camera and hopefully get us some decent amounts of food. Um, I guess it's time to say take it easy. Uh, take it easy. Take it easy.